Welcome to the 2020 award ceremony. Every May, we take time to honor students who have demonstrated academic excellence and achieved accomplishments both here at Villa and in the community. To start our ceremony today, we would like to start off with an opening prayer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Almighty and ever-living God, today we honor and celebrate the students who are being recognized and honored for their various academic and athletic achievements and the many contributions of their gifts and talents to the school community. As we honor them, we also direct all honor, glory, and praise to you, Almighty God, for you are the source, inspiration, and reason for the various accomplishments of those whom we honor today. We ask you to bless those whom we honor today and bless those involved with today's assembly. Help them to be an inspiration to others. And may they always strive to be and to do their best in their future endeavors and ultimately seek to glorify you in all that they do. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll start off with business. The Business Computer Information Technology Department would like to honor an outstanding student for her performance in the area of Accounting too. This award goes to Olivia Gianti. For outstanding performance in Accounting One. The awards go to Caitlin Lips, Courtney Patsy, Danella Santos, Caitlin Steiner, and Alex Valerio. The Business Computer Information Technology Department would like to honor an outstanding student for her performance in the area of computer science. This award goes to Laura Glendunning and Anna Welton. The Reserve Officer Association JROTC award goes to Ellen Mercatoris Morrison. The criteria for this award is as follows. Being in the top 10% in the AF JROTC program, being in the top 25% in academic grades, and being recognized for contributing the most to advancing the objectives of the program, which include outstanding dedication to citizenship, knowledge of civic responsibility, military orientation, self-discipline, and a sound work ethic. Ellen is receiving this award for her leadership in establishing the JROTC program at Villa. In addition to easily meeting the academic criteria, Ellen clearly contributed the most to advancing the objectives of AF JROTC as she was one of the prime factors in actually bringing JROTC to Villa. Her grassroots level petition campaign showed there was an interest in the Villa community for ROTC, and she grew that interest. Once the program was established, Ellen immediately showed her leadership skills in action during several team building events at the WLD Ranch in Girard. Ellen was JROTC at Villa. Her fellow cadets overwhelmingly selected her to be the first flight commander. She was a shining example of military leadership at Villa and will continue to be so as an Army ROTC cadet at Virginia Tech. Finally, the leadership ribbon goes to Faith Rebich. The leadership ribbon is awarded annually to cadets for outstanding performance in a petition, position of leadership as an AF JROTC cadet and who have consistently displayed outstanding leadership ability above and beyond expected performance. Ms. Rebich earned this ribbon as both chaplain of her flight at Villa and as commander of the JV Unarmed Drill Team, which she accomplished as a brand new first year cadet. As chaplain, she organized monthly masses where J Villa JROTC cadets could attend as a corps. As drill team commander, Faith led a group of seven first and second year cadets in three interstate competitions. Congratulations, ladies. The Villa Maria Academy English Department awards students certificates of achievement based on GPA, literary analysis, advanced writing techniques, public speaking, class discussion, and a willingness to share one's ideas with others. This year's winners are as follows. 
For English One Academic, May Shogar. Honors, Moira Tunnell. English Two, Academic, Sydney Hammond. Honors, Brooke Smith. And AP, Emma Sanders. For English Three Academic, Gianna Davis. Honors, Rachel Majeski. Advanced, Moira Dietman. And for English Four, Academic, Stella Shablinski. For Honors, Olivia Gianti. And AP, Caitlin Selva. Congratulations, ladies. The Mass Department would like to honor the following students for outstanding achievement in each course. For Algebra 1 Academic, I'm Unique Tate. For Algebra 1 Honors, Augusta Costco. Geometry Academic, Maddie Hess. Geometry Honors, Caitlin Kropp. And Geometry Pre-AP, Emma Sanders. For Algebra 2 Academic, Gianna Davis. Algebra 2 Trig Honors, Ira Esperanz. For Pre-Calculus, Ella Ramondi and Jasmine Chen. Trigonometry, Juliana Tate. Algebra 3, Sarah Gustafson. Honors Calculus, Olivia Mraz. And Honors Statistics, Alexandria Valerio. AP Calculus, Elizabeth Swanson. And AP Statistics, Olivia Sanders. The Math Department would also like to congratulate the following students for outstanding achievement in mathematics. The following students earned an A grade in every math, math course they've ever taken at Villa. Lara Glendenning, Olivia Sanders, Rachel Bowen, Olivia Mraz, Caitlin Salva, Caitlin Steiner, Elizabeth Swanson, Nora Lewis, Ellen Mercatoris Morrison, and Gabriella Parker. Nice job, ladies. The music department honors seniors who have shown outstanding talent in the field of music and who have been actively involved in the promotion of vocal and instrumental music at Villa and in the community. The following seniors are receiving a vocal music award. Olivia Mraz, Italia Gianti, Jade Lee, Mara Lynch, Ainsley Maisie, Bria McKnight, Stella Shablinski, Isabel Schoonover, Sophia Skripsack, Elizabeth Swanson, Juliana Tate, Caitlin Bizarro, Bridget Cosgrove, Madison Klinger, Faith Rebich, Lauren Belmonte, Gabrielle Schmidt, and Anna Wisniewski. The following seniors are receiving an Instrumental Music Award. Juliana Tate, Emily Cayley, Hannah Piccarelli, Marilla Santos, Catherine Skelly, Georgia Gray, Carolyn McGee, Maria Ali, Lauren Belmonte, and Leah Turk. Congratulations, girls. The music department also recognizes those music students who had the honor of being chosen to participate in the Pennsylvania Music Educator Association District Choir. The PMEA District Choir is comprised of the top singers from all of the high school students in Northwestern Pennsylvania. Mary Grace Kelly, Stella Shablinski, Mara Lynch, and Bria McKnight. Congratulations. Through a competitive audition at districts, two of these four students earned spots at the Pennsylvania Music Educator Association Regions Choir. The PMEA Regions Choir is comprised of students from District 2 and District 3. Mary Grace Kelly and Mara Lynch, congratulations. Through a competitive audition, four students earned spots in the American Choral Directors Association Eastern Regional Honors Choir. This Honors Choir is comprised of students who auditioned from the 13 states in the Northeast United States and three had the opportunity to perform in Kodak Hall at the Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York. Elizabeth Swanson, Mara Lynch, and Mary Grace Kelly. Congratulations. The International Thespian Society is a joint organization of villain prep that honors achievement in theater. 
We would like to thank the officers of the International Thespian Society and thank them for their dedication to the association. President Stella Shablinsky, Vice President Mara Lynch, Secretary Olivia Mraz, and Treasurer Elizabeth Swanson. Each year, it honors students for their hard work and dedication to theater at VMA and PrEP. Their name will be engraved on a plaque that will hang on the second floor of Villa Maria Academy. Congratulations to Daniel Temetsko of PrEP and Stella Shablinsky of Villa. Stella, congratulations. On behalf of the dance program, the following seniors are being recognized for their outstanding dance performance. These students have gone above and beyond in their dance classes, rehearsals, and performances. They have used their gifts to bring attention and appreciation to the dance program, both in school and in the community. Congratulations to Jenna Bevan, Grace DiGiacomo, Courtney Kendall, Ainsley Macy, Courtney Patsy, Danella Santos, and Katherine Skelly. The MVP Art Department would also like to recognize the top students in the fields of ceramics, drawing, painting, and digital art. These students consistently produce stellar pieces, demonstrate the best skills, and make strong creative choices. Congratulations to Elizabeth Swanson and Victoria Campanelli for ceramics, Lauren Passarelli and Jasmine Chen for drawing, Abigail Gadleski and Amelia Kuzma for painting, and Jenny Hoffman and McKenna Markley for digital arts. In addition to the distinguished art students mentioned above, the department would like to recognize students who show tremendous potential in art. These freshmen have exhibited fervent interest in fine art, as well as advanced skill, creativity, and exploration. Congratulations to Julia Malinowski, Adelaide Stark, and Mally Morton. At this time, the Science Department would like to recognize several students for outstanding achievement in the sciences. These students portray an excellent understanding of science topics and have a passion for all that is science. For Academic Integrated Science, Teresa Stahl. Honors Integrated Science, Elena Carroll. Academic Biology, Sarah Komorek. Honors Biology, Leah Markowitz. AP Biology, Amelia Kuzma. Academic Chemistry, Ruth Chase. Honors Chemistry, Delaney Nystrom. Honors Physics, Valerie Berglia. AP Physics, Nora Lewis. Forensic Science, Amaya Sacco. Anatomy and Physiology, Ella Seifert, and Environmental Science, Isabel Schoonover. The Social Studies Department seeks to create good citizens who have a desire to learn and conduct themselves with integrity. Today we recognize the top students in each of our year-long courses who have worked to pursue those same goals. For World History One Honors, Ellen Dietman. World History One Academic, Elena Kaparuz. AP Human Geography, Sophia Cazola. World History Two Honors, Caitlin Kropp. World History Two Academic, Madeline Parks. And AP World History, Emma Sanders. For US History Honors, Maddox Landall. And US History Academic, Amari Brunson. Congratulations, girls. The theology department would like to honor the following students with the highest grades in theology this year. Freshman, Adelaide Stark. Sophomore, Paula Carrick. Junior, Maddox Landall. And for the seniors, Gabriella Parker. Sister Mary Ellen Plum served as both a teacher and campus minister at Villa for 25 years. She is best remembered for her love for God and neighbor, joyful witness to the gospel both in and out of the classroom, and commitment to service. Each year, the Sister Mary Ellen Plum Award is given to a senior who has consistently demonstrated these qualities. This year's recipient is Elizabeth Swanson. 
The World Languages Department would like to recognize students for the highest overall achievement in their individual language classes. For Spanish 1, Academic, Isabella Holder. Spanish 1 Honors, Olivia Buckle. Spanish 2 Academic, Sydney Hammond. Spanish 2 Honors, Emma Sanders. Spanish 3 Honors, Amelia Kuzma. Spanish 4 Academic, Alex Velez. Spanish 4 Honors, Olivia Sanders. French 1 Honors, Lauren Coker. French 2 Honors, Megan Mahalik. French 3, Faith Wisniewski, and French 4, Emma Thompson. For Latin 1 honors, Chloe Brueger. Latin 2 honors, Paula Carrick. Latin 2 academic, Margaret McGovern. Latin 3, Mary Koalas and Maddox Landl. And for Latin 4 honors, Bria McKnight, Alexandria Valerio, and Elizabeth Rowe and the Augusta Award for Excellence in Latin for all four years goes to Alexandra Valerio. Congratulations. Every year, a group of students works hard to ensure that the entire Villa community has a story of the year's events through images and words in the yearbook. They meet many deadlines as they take pictures and write about the entire year. We thank them for all of their hard work on the 2019-2020 yearbook. This year's senior editors are Maria Denny, Brianna Golab, Jolina Konachik, Sophia Mensch, Molly Moon, Chloe Painter, and Alexandria Valerio. Thank you, girls. Today, we will also take the time to recognize students for their leadership contributions and accomplishments in clubs, organizations, and athletic pursuits. Through their hard work, they continue to make our Villa community proud. Beginning with clubs and organizations, Interact Club would like to thank and recognize the leadership for another successful year. They organized our biggest collection for Operation Christmas Child and helped plan an amazing box village. They were also in the planning stages of our big spring event, our first annual 5K run, when we were forced to cancel. Thank you to Rachel Bowen, Chloe Robison, Caitlin Selva, Maddie Slater, Lauren Wagner, and Rebecca Wallen. The mission of the VMA Pep Club is to promote school spirit and celebrate the Villa Sisterhood. Pep Club would like to thank the following students for their outstanding leadership this year. Gianna Scarelli, Lauren Wagner, Hannah Labonte, Marge Constable, Princess Mandy, Annalise Wiesner, Haley Martin, Emma Thompson, Courtney Kindle, Angeline Krzyzewski, and Juliana Tate. Thank you ladies for your service to the Villa family. National Honor Society, which focuses on the four tenets of academics, leadership, service, and character, would like to thank this year's officers for their countless hours of service to the organization our school, and the Erie community. President Caitlin Selva, Vice President Rebecca Wallen, Secretary Ellen Mercatoris Morrison, Historian Jameson Lacey, and Publicity Elizabeth Rowe. Their dedication and organization led the many service projects and donations contributed by NHS members this year. Thank you for your service. National Honor Society also has two special awards to bestow today. Marcy Palmisano was elected NHS president for the 1988-89 school year. Due to a tragic fire, Marcy did not complete her term of office. The National Honor Society initiated a memorial plaque in Marcy's name, and NHS has con continued to honor Marcy every year by honoring a senior who embodies the same characteristics that Marcy was so known for. The recipient of this award is nominated by fellow seniors in NHS. This year, NHS would like to honor a senior who is known for taking initiative in so many projects throughout her years at Villa, for student council, for NHS, and in the classroom. This student is a woman who steps up willingly and offers for her help and leadership no matter what the project. 
She is a role model for her classmates, and that is obviously based on the amount of NHS seniors who nominated her for this award. NHS is proud to bestow this award to Alexandria Valerio. She is the perfect example of what NHS stands for, scholarship, leadership, character, and service. Thank you, Alex, for all you do to be a leader we can look up to. The National Honor Society is founded on the qualities, again, of scholarship, leadership, character, and service. Through the Candle of Knowledge Award, NHS recognizes a member of the faculty who possesses these gifts and who readily shares them with students and peers alike. Villa is a school of amazing teachers who tirelessly give their lives to their students in various service projects. Today, NHS would like to take a moment to honor one of these extraordinary teachers. This teacher is very much appreciated for her leadership as a student council advisor and for creating an environment of spirit and faith in her classroom, in her school community. She puts her students and colleagues first, and this selflessness is just one of the qualities we all admire about her. Most importantly, she is a model of unwavering faith. It is our honor to award the 2019-2020 School Year Candle of Knowledge Award to Miss Mary Falk. Congratulations, Miss Falk, and thank you for all that you do to make Villa special. National Art Honor Society would like to recognize the officers that have served so well this school year. President Caitlin Salva, Vice President Hannah Piccarelli, Treasurer Laura Anthony, Secretary Maddox Landall. Each year, Villa acknowledges a member of the National Art Honor Society who has exemplified the spirit of service in the creative arts and art education. This student showed tremendous commitment and dedication to service projects this year, and her selfless donation of time and effort has been crucial to the mission of NAHS. This student has been a part of all NAHS events that have been hosted and volunteers her time not only in the organization, but through other Villa organizations as well. This year's NAHS Service Award goes to Maddie Slater. Congratulations. As Kermit the Frog sings, it's not easy being green. But lucky for us at Villa, we have a VMA green team that encourages us to take care of our earth. The co-presidents of the VMA Green Team, Hannah Labonte, Ellen Mercatoris Morrison, and Annie Wiesner, thank you so much for your participation. As student leadership is an integral part of the Villa Maria Academy family, we would like to thank the class officers and recognize them for their contributions to class activities this year. Senior officers are Bella Agresti, Maddie Slater, Hannah Piccarelli, and Stella Shablinski. Junior officers are Abigail Williams and Mary Grace Kelly. Leading the underclassmen are Megan Mahalik and Allie Height for the sophomores, and Adelaide Stark and Lauren Cubitt for the freshmen. Thank you for serving your classmates this year. Student Council exists to serve the student body in a variety of ways, from planning social activities to representing the school in a more formal capacity. At the helm of Student Council is its executive board. These girls run the school and council and chair many of the various committees, thus ensuring their success. At this time, we'd like to recognize and thank those girls who have served on the executive board this year. Olivia Mraz, President, Elizabeth Swanson, Vice President, Alex Valerio, Recording Secretary, Kelly Mishler, Treasurer, Gianna Scarelli, Historian, Annie Wiesner, Historian, Tori Purchase, Public Liaison, and Laura Glendenning, Technology Director. Also, a new club, Women in Business, was formed this year at Villa for young women who have an interest in business, finance, and entrepreneurship. President is Jasmine Chen, and Vice President is Tori Purchase. Thank you for starting this new club, girls. Today, we also want to congratulate students who have been recognized by outside groups. 
On behalf of the Erie County Peer Jury Program, we would like to recognize and thank Alex Valerio, Angeline Krzyzewski, Lauren Belmonte, Cassidy Krieger, Sophia Skripsack, and Jamie Lacey. They demonstrated excellent leadership and decision-making skills, which helped make the peer jury program successful this year. We thank them for participating in this valuable program. The Zonta Club of Erie each year presents the Amelia Earhart Award to two juniors who have demonstrated leadership ability in the classroom, school activities, and community. Congratulations to Victoria Purchase and Anna Welton on this honor. The Kiwanis Club of Erie recognizes two seniors each year. The students were chosen as Villa's recipients of this award for their outstanding achievements. Chloe Robison and Olivia Mraz received those Kiwanis Club awards last month. Congratulations. The Hammett Health Foundation is awarding a scholarship to a Villa senior pursuing a college degree in a medical related field at a local university. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Jenna Bevan. Next, we have a few awards from the University of Rochester. The Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award in Humanities and Social Sciences is given to an outstanding junior who has taken rigorous courses and had an excellent performance in Humanities and Social Sciences. The recipient of this award is eligible to be considered for an annual $10,000 scholarship at the University of Rochester. Ava Wade, congratulations. The Xerox Award for Innovation in Information Technology is awarded to a student who excels in com computer usage. The recipient of this award is eligible to be considered for an annual $10,000 scholarship at the University of Rochester. This year's recipient is Anna Welton. The George Eastman Young Leaders Award is given each year to a junior who has exhibited outstanding leadership skills. The recipient of this award is eligible to be considered for an annual $10,000 scholarship at the University of Rochester. This year's recipient is Maddox Landall. And the Bausch & Lomb Award is given to an outstanding science student. The recipient of this award is eligible to be considered for an annual $10,000 scholarship at the University of Rochester. This year's recipient is Jasmine Chen. Congratulations to all of these girls. The President's Award for Educational Excellence is presented to graduating seniors who have achieved a cumulative grade point average of 4.7 or higher during their four years of high school. Congratulations to Bella Agresti, Rachel Bowen, Cassidy Krieger, Grace DiGiacomo, Laura Glendenning, Angeline Krzyzewski, Hannah Labonte, Nora Lewis, Mara Lynch, Ellen Mercatoris Morrison, Bria McKnight, Kelly Mishler, Olivia Mraz, Courtney Patsy, Hannah Piccarelli, Elizabeth Rowe, Caitlin Salva, Olivia Sanders, Isabel Schoonover, and Gianna Schiarelli. Caitlin Steiner, Elizabeth Swanson, Alexandra Valerio, Lauren Wagner, Rebecca Wallen, and Annalise Wiesner. The President's Award for Educational Achievement is awarded to graduating seniors who have achieved a cumulative grade point average between 4.5 and 4.7 during their four years of high school. Congratulations to Jenna Bevan, Jameson Lacey, Tara Matthews, Faith Rabich, Megan Riley, Sophia Skripsack, and Alexandra Velez. This year, we have also have the pleasure of honoring a Villa graduate as a National Merit Commended Student. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an academic competition for recognition and scholarships that began in 1955. High school students enter the National Merit Program by taking the preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test, which serves as an initial screen of approximately 1.6 million entrants each year. 
and by meeting published program entry and participation requirements. Prep and Villa students take this exam in the fall of their junior year. This year's senior class had one student place as a commended student, placing her in the top 50,000 of the 1.6 million test takers in the top 3%. Congratulations to that senior, Nora Lewis. Finally, we would also like to recognize Ellen Mercatoris Morrison. Ellen received a full three-year Army ROTC scholarship to Virginia Tech. Congratulations. Now I'd like to turn it over to Mr. William Patooch. Thank you, Ms. Conroe. Because we weren't able to have a third quarter honors assembly to announce the top QPA winners for the third quarter, we're going to read those now. The following five freshmen earned the highest QPA for quarter three and will be awarded a school pennant. Chloe Brueger, Olivia Buckle, Gemma Filippi, Leanna Hankey, and Leah Markowitz. Outstanding work, ladies. The following six sophomores earned the highest QPA for quarter three and will also be awarded a school pennant. Congratulations to Alexandra Height, Sophia Latouf, Megan Mahalik, Delaney Nystrom, Ella Romandi, and Emma Sanders. Nice job. A single junior earned the highest QPA for quarter three and will be awarded a school pennant. Congratulations to Jasmine Chen. A single senior earned the highest QPA for quarter three and will be awarded a scholastic pin. Congratulations, Olivia Sanders. Well done. At this time, I would like to announce important information for the 2020 Mary's Day celebration. The following students have been chosen to participate in the Mary's Day celebration. Singing the Ave Maria will be Mara Lynch. Singing Gentlewoman will be Bria McKnight and Stella Przeplinski. The Mary's Day dancer will be Jenna Bevan. I'm also pleased to announce to you the Mary's Day court. Bella Agresti, Rachel Bowen, Grace DiGiacomo, Kelly Mishler, and Faith Rebick will be representing the class of 2020 for Mary's Day. And Kelly Mishler will be serving as the May Queen. It is my distinct pleasure to announce the 2020 honor graduates. Olivia Sanders, Laura Glenn Denning, Bella Agresti, Nora Lewis, Elizabeth Swanson, Rebecca Wallen, Hannah Piccarilli, Caitlin Salva, and Gianna Scarilli. The following students will be participating as speakers in the Class of 2020 Commencement Exercises. For opening and closing prayers, Rebecca Wallen and Laura Glenn Denning. Mistress of Ceremonies, Alexandra Valerio, class speakers, Olivia Sanders, and Bella Agresti. And one final note regarding graduation. Each year, the senior class selects two faculty members to serve as assistants for the commencement exercises. This year, the class of 2020 selected Ms. C.F. and Mrs. Tucker to serve as those assistants. Congratulations. In closing for my portion of the, uh, of the assembly today, I want to encourage all of you ladies to continue to do good work in all that you do academically, athletically, in your communities, and in your faith lives. Please continue to pray for each other and all that you do. I'm now going to turn the ceremony over to Mr. Flanagan for the Athletic Awards and Memorial Awards. Hello. We're obviously very disappointed we're unable to meet in person in our auditorium today. This year our program is much different than we ever anticipated. We certainly hope all of our students, faculty and staff and parents are safe during this pandemic. Our student athletes have worked extremely hard, extremely hard and have received great instruction over the years from their coaches. Each year several athletes stand out on those teams and they will be honored in their respective sports for performance, attitude, and teamwork. And we will also announce our Memorial Award winners. 
It's not my privilege to announce the top individual award winners in athletics for the 2019-2020 school year. All award winners have been selected by the coaching staff here at Villa Maria Academy. The Cross Country Award. It is presented to the student athlete who is the top runner on the cross country team this past season. This year, the Cross Country Award is awarded to freshman Sarah Clark. The Competitive Cheerleading Award is voted on by the coaching staff and presented to the student athlete who was tops on the squad this past season. The Competitive Cheerleading Award is presented to senior Juliana Tate. The Mary Ann Fessler Golf Award is presented by the Fessler family in honor of Mary Ann Fessler. She was a longtime supporter of Villa Maria Academy who sent four daughters and 13 grandchildren to the school. Mary Ann won five EDWGA match play titles, was a senior champion a dozen times, was a 13-time club champion at Kakwa, and has seven holes in one in her career. She was a 1987 inductee into the Erie chapter of the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame and a 1994 inductee into the EDWGA Sports Hall of Fame. She also helped take Villa golfers to states for the first time in the late 70s before passing away in 2014. This year, the Mary Ann Fessler Golf Award is presented to senior Madison Klinger and junior Tara Thomas. The Abdullah McCreeby Soccer Award is named in honor of Villa's first soccer coach who started the program and assisted in building the field, Abdullah McCreeby. It's presented to the student athlete who was the top soccer player this past season. This year, the Abdullah McCreeby Soccer Award is given to senior Alex Velez. The Tennis Award is presented to the student athlete who was the best player on the squad this past season. This year, the Tennis Award is presented to senior Sarah DeMarco. The Aaron Popovich Volleyball Award is named for former Villa standout and volleyball player Aaron Popovich. It's presented to the top volleyball player this past season. This year, the Aaron Popovich Volleyball Award is given to senior Caitlin Lips. The Water Polo Award is presented to the student athlete who was the best performer in that sport this past season. This year, the Water Polo Award is presented to senior Olivia Sanders. The award for the bowling team is presented to the student athlete who was the top scorer this past season on the team. This year, the bowling award is presented to senior Caitlin Salva. The Sister Susan Dubay Basketball Award is named after Sister Susan Dubay, longtime basketball coach at Villa Maria, and is given to the top player from this past season. This year, the Sister Susan DeBay Award is presented to senior Cassidy Krieger. The Mary Martucci Swimming Award is named for one of the top swimmers in school history, Mary Martucci. The award is presented to the top swimmer of this past season. The Mary Martucci Swimming Award is given this year to three Villa Victors, junior Jasmine Chen, sophomore Gracie Gertz, and sophomore Megan Mahalik. One of the things we are most proud of at Villa Maria has been the number of students participating. The student athletes who have sacrificed their time and committed their efforts through participation in more than one sport have always been the backbone and the heart of Villa's success in athletics. The team rosters are filled with the names of athletes who have unselfishly given of their time to the school by participating in sports during the course of the year. They are the best of Villa Maria athletics. In order to reward those young women who have given so much of themselves to the school, we're proud to announce the winners of Villa's Tri-Athlete Award. It's given each year to every student athlete who letters in three or more varsity sports. In the sports of water polo, swimming, and track and field, junior Jasmine Chen. In the sports of cross country, indoor track and track and field, freshman Sarah Clark. 
In the sports of soccer, indoor track and track and field, junior Mackenzie Fletcher. In the sports of water polo, swimming and track and field, freshman Jillian Heinrich. In the sports of cross country, indoor track and track and field, junior Sadie Latouf. In the sports of water polo, swimming and track and field, senior Ellen Mercatoris Morrison. In the sports of water polo, swimming and lacrosse, sophomore Emma Sanders. In the sports of golf, tennis and swimming, Junior Tara Thomas. In the sports of cross country, indoor track and track and field, Junior Anna Welton. In the sports of water polo, swimming and track and field, freshman Catherine Welton. We now have our final awards, the four major school awards. The Greg Porter Award. It's presented to a student who exemplifies the qualities of Greg Porter, which include, but are not limited to, enthusiasm, a positive attitude, and a love of sport. This student must do her best while at the same time encourage others to excel. Greg Porter was an enthusiastic supporter of Villa Maria sports and athletes for many, many years. This year's Greg Porter Award is presented to senior Kelly Mishler. The Joe Lunger Memorial Award. It's given to a member of the senior class who has excelled in two or more sports. The student must maintain a solid grade point average academically, must exemplify good sportsmanship, and be a great teammate. Coach Lunger served as baseball and basketball coach at VMA. He taught athletes to be proud of their accomplishments, whether they won or lost. This year's Joe Lunger Memorial Award goes to senior Madeline Slater. The Patty Dubay Award is given each year in memory of Patty Dubay, a member of the class of 1971. The recipient of this award is selected by the head coaches of all varsity sports and must have the following qualifications. Must have made achievements in the highest level of her sport. Must have participated in non-athletic activities and demonstrate a major contribution in the field of courage, honesty, and sportsmanship, and must have represented VMA in a positive manner. This year, the Patty Dubay Award is presented to seniors Bella Agresti and Ellen Mercatoris Morrison. Our final award is the Sister Mary Drexler Award. It's presented as recognition to Sister Mary Drexler, longtime principal and supporter of Villa Maria Athletics and is given to the most outstanding athlete of this past year for athletic achievement and sportsmanship. This year, the Sister Mary Drexler Award is presented to two seniors, Sarah DeMarco and Olivia Sanders. Again, we congratulate all of our award winners today, but most importantly, the so many seniors that did not have a chance to finish what they started and compete this spring. We thank all of our student athletes for their great work right now. We would like to congratulate the basketball, soccer, swimming, and tennis teams on winning Region and District 10 titles in 2019-2020, the competitive cheer team on winning a D10 crown, and the golf team on winning a Region title. Special acknowledgement goes out to Olivia Sanders, who was first team All-State in water polo, to Ellen Mercatoris Morrison, 
who was All-State Honorable Mention, and to All-Freshman All-State selections, Emily Consiglio, Julian Heinrich, and Katie Welton. To the soccer team, they had a great run this past season, made it all the way to Hershey before finishing as the state runner-up. To the tennis team, who finished top eight in the state this past year, congratulations. To the golf team, they finished third in the state. To the basketball team, who finished top eight in the state. To the swim team, who won their fifth consecutive District 10 championship, but unfortunately, due to the current circumstances, were unable to defend their PIAA championship. To senior Sarah DeMarco and junior Tara Thomas, they won a doubles state tennis championship for the third consecutive season. Congratulations to both Sarah and Tara. And now we will turn things over for some final comments to our president, Father Jabo. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, as we conclude this awards assembly, we again thank you for this opportunity to acknowledge the various accomplishments of our students. Bless these young women who have been honored today, and bless them with a sense of humility and gratitude to thank you always for any achievements throughout life. During these challenging and anxious times, as we deal with COVID-19 and the uncertainties that it brings, help us to trust in you. Keep all of us and our families and friends safe and healthy. In a special way, bless the class of 2020 as they prepare to graduate and empower them to witness to your truth, love, and faithfulness throughout their lives. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.